In this Delcross application presentation, we highlight the use of our Savant software for assessing the installed performance of a SATCOM reflector antenna on an unmanned aerial vehicle. We start with the design of the antenna itself. A parabolic reflector antenna model is used with a diameter of a half a meter, which is 13.3 electrical wavelengths at the operating frequency of 8 gigahertz. The focal length of the parabola is 0.25 meters and an 8 GHz conical horn antenna model is placed at the parabola's focal point. The reflector design may be imported into Savant using either a faceted or a NURBS model if a CAD model already exists. If not, you can also take advantage of the parabolic canonical shape construct in Savant version 4 to create the reflector. Savant has a built-in conical feed horn model, and we place this model at the parabola's focal point. A CAD model has been imported into Savant for the host platform, a UAV aircraft body. The parabolic antenna structure is placed within the forward sensor compartment of the UAV body. Starting with Savant version 4, the scene tree capability enables you to use and place multiple CAD bodies with the ability to apply local and global rotations and translations of the bodies and of subassemblies. A simple mechanical support of PEC material is also added to the reflector model. The cover of the forward compartment is defined as a dielectric material, simulating the effects of a radome. Savant is capable of modeling single and multi-layered dielectrics and coatings. In the simulation scenario, we will simulate a gimbal turntable sweep sampling the full 3D antenna radiation pattern as the antenna is trained on an elevation angle of 30 degrees from the horizon. In one degree azimuth increments, a full 3D radiation pattern is captured with Savant simulation. Savant employs the use of graphics processor units, or GPUs, to realize performance gains through parallel processing. In this case, a GPU was used on a consumer-grade video graphics adapter on a workstation with average performance capability. Each 3D radiation pattern is composed of over 65,000 observation points and required about 30 seconds at each 1 degree azimuth position, resulting in an overall runtime of about 3 hours. That's for over 23.5 million total observation points. Again, this was run on a single medium capability workstation using a consumer grade NVIDIA graphics card. The memory required by all simulations was very reasonable, under 250 megabytes of RAM. These graphics are generated by MATLAB scripts based upon data and graphics produced within Savant from the 360 static antenna position simulations. Each frame is synchronized to the others. In the top center, you can see the relative position of the reflector antenna assembly along with the radiation pattern of the primary feed antenna. And in the bottom center, you can see the full 3D radiation pattern of the antenna relative to the UAV body. In the upper left, you see a globe view of the copolarized antenna pattern with color coding to indicate the relative field strength in each direction from the antenna origin. The cross-polarized pattern is shown in the globe view in the upper right. It's helpful to view the main beam distortion relative to the pointing direction at all angles in order to determine which pointing angles will experience the highest main beam distortion. The plot in the lower left shows a 2D pattern for the copole beam, where the center of the plot corresponds to the intended scan direction of the main beam. A small marker shows the actual beam maximum to illustrate beam pointing error due to installed placement induced errors. Finally, the plot in the lower right shows a comparison of free space performance of the antenna to its installed performance. Pattern cuts are shown for both azimuth and elevation performance, recentered to the intended main beam direction. These plots illustrate clearly the installed performance effects on the principal main beam pattern cuts which amount to the difference between the red installed performance curves and the yellow free space curves. Savant represents a new generation in high frequency electromagnetic analysis, giving the system designer the opportunity to perform full installed performance analysis of antennas and their vehicle platforms. 
Dell Cross is an industry leader in high-frequency asymptotic electromagnetic analysis and has extended shooting and bouncing ray analysis to include a rich feature set that is unmatched in any other commercial asymptotic simulation. Our SBR Plus formulation combines SBR in a PO-based formulation with PTD, UTD, and creeping wave technology features. Savant provides efficient analysis of structures that are hundreds to thousands of wavelengths in size, and in this case we saw 360 full-view radiation pattern results with three hours of computing on relatively pedestrian hardware. The Savant user environment also provides efficient handling of complex CAD bodies, internal model definitions, and intuitive subassembly positioning so you can spend your time examining scenarios instead of wasting time setting up multiple static CAD combinations. Thank you for viewing this Dell Cross Technologies presentation. For more information, feel free to visit us on the site at www.dellcross.com. For North American sales and support, contact Dell Cross Technologies or our agent, CST of America Incorporated. And outside North America, please contact CST AG.